I spent months working on this massive Lego Star Wars Utapau mock from Star Wars Episode 3, and today I'm finally finishing it. But there are a few things we need to do to get looking from this to this. But the finale will be coming out in the next week, so keep a lookout for that, where I'm going to put together the massive battle scenes that are going to be taking place for the Battle of Utapau. And I'll be showcasing this at Brickworld Chicago next week, so if you're there, you can see it in person. I'm very excited to show this off to you guys, but without further ado, let's get into it. With the main rock structure being done, it was time to complete the entire city and battleground part of the mock. The city is made into four different modules and each have their own unique aspects. The first module I did was complete this very tall building on the left side that represents similar structures that we see in the OG Star Wars Battlefront 2. Man, those are some great days. Being built in a modular fashion where I can take apart for travel this is the tallest building in the mock by maybe a brick or so, but definitely not the biggest. I really love how this building came together and it really adds a focal point to the left side of the city and gives me an excuse to add some epic crab droid scenes crawling on the side of the building. Man, I just, that's so cool. I can't wait to add more battleground slash battle stuff to the mock. But there is also another building going on this section that is mostly a gray structure that we see for just a few seconds in the movie. So I had a little creative liberty with the build. With it being raised up, I am going to include some kind of restaurant or store here in the finale. This building definitely stands out from the rest, but there's only half of the build as the other half goes on the second module. Overall, really pleased on how all the building streets and landing pads turned out for this section. Now we need to add it onto the main build to see how it looks on top. And I have to say, it's finally coming together. Now the next module includes the second half of the building that we just were working on and it's just a mirrored version of the build. As well as I did a ton of work on the city streets and the stairway leading up into the city, which I wanted to make it feel like there was much more city in the background. This staircase was inspired by Battlefront 2 and as you can see, we also have a big snot wall next to the side of the staircase. And this will actually be used as the side of the main building that we will be finishing next. This is definitely the most open section featuring the main landing pad so Republic forces can land and be pushed into the city. But I can't wait to add all the battle scenes and gunships landing on this section since I made it more open for uh, city street battles and all sorts of stuff. But really happy how this section turned out. Now the biggest build in the mock is this really cool hotel like structure that you see in the background of revenge of the sith like if you blink you'll miss it it's just where this gunship is flying by that's kind of what it's based off of as well as some other models that you see that they actually built for you which is quite an interesting little tidbit that most of this is just models and stuff that you see you not really cgi so i think that's a really cool aspect of you this building took so much longer than i thought it was going to take to build as i had to recruit one of my cousins to help me out with a little smaller details in the front of the build as i built up the rest of the bricks I'm very thankful for my cousins help me out with this build but it's built on two different base plates and consists of three different levels this building has a unique unique window design and a second floor walkway to have some more epic fight scenes as well as some damage kind of going all throughout the building. And on the very top is the main door that I worked on. Now this was kind of a afterthought or a thing I wanted to add near the end of the build and I'm really happy I did as it really makes this building even bigger. Now it serves as like the main entrance to this building as well as a few uh, pillars that go around on the side that showcasing some of the classic Utapau design. This 100% exceeded my expectations and is the focal point of the city. So happy how this main building turned out on these two different sections. Now with every section finished, it's time to get every support beam into place that's going to be holding up each one of these modules that is going to be kind of very important to make these really strong to be able to hold up, especially during a long drive. And after that, I'm going to be putting on all these sides. As you see here, there's all these different dark tan plates and I'm actually gonna be building up much more. It's gonna be all around the mock, kind of covering up all those support beams. As well, I'm going to be having a secret scene on one of the sides, on the left side of the build, kind of engraved into the mountain that I'm gonna keep a secret for now, but y'all will see in the finale, but might have one of my favorite scenes from Battle of Utapau. Now that we've done all the hard work, we've finished the majority of the build. It's getting all ready. Of course, it needs 
mini figures and vehicles. Now I'll be going over some of the clone forces we're gonna be using in the finale. Now here are all my realistic 2014 212 clone troopers I have ready for the mock. I will not be using the new 2020 style because I think the 2014 obviously is movie realistic version. So I love those so much. The first like 32 I believe have custom Firestar toy arms which looks absolutely epic. As well as we have a couple other ones that just have regular orange arms. And of course we have a good bit, I think like 32 again of the airborne troopers so i think we have enough minifigures there but if i do not have enough i know my boy brickley got me for some reinforcements now also the vehicles i'm gonna be hopefully gonna be including at least one atte and a gunship in this if not two uh gunships flying over the mock as well as my boy lego man 360 is going to be coming in with a surprised vehicle that i don't think have you ever seen before built in lego form so very excited for that so guys that is it for building Utapal. The final update is here. Now, the finale again is gonna be coming out probably in the next week, so keep an eye out for that. We're gonna be doing a full walkthrough of the completed mock. This has been such an awesome experience and I cannot wait to take this mock as my first mock ever to a Lego convention at Brickworld Chicago. Guys, I'll see you in the finale.